Okay guys, so this week we're showing you five modifications or upgrades to your RV that we've done and that you can do. We think they really helped us go full time and made it much more comfortable of a place to be. Let's get started. Number one, we drilled through the wall of our RV so we could have a direct line of signal from the satellite dish to the satellite box behind the TV. We had to do it because our RV must have a lot of splitters or connection issues where if we plug into the normal satellite hookup, it doesn't get enough signal. As you can see, the way we've been running the cable has been down around the corner and out the front door, out to the satellite dish. It's the only way I can make it work. I think I'm gonna have it run from that back corner there. So I'm gonna take the height measurement from the floor up and from the wall over, which isn't far from the door. So I'll be able to get a, an estimate of that space back there. So I'm gonna take some measurements here. This doesn't have to be exact. I'm just trying to get it close to make it as conspicuous as possible. We'll see. Who doesn't like to drill holes in their future home? Hello. So firstly, I'm going to drill a small hole to make sure I'm in the right place on the other side. I like to think that I can just put a little bit of silicone or something if I make a mistake and that'll work, but we'll see. Well, that was easy. So as you may be able to see, here and here, I missed twice. Um, I really want to be somewhere in between the two and a little over. Luckily, the receptacle is going to be so large, uh, it'll cover both these holes I put in. But uh, be better than me next time. <laughs> now, I got to do a big one, and this is scary. But if we want to be happy in our home, this is what we have to do. So our coax cable is through. So I'm gonna put this on here, attach it to that, mount it, and uh, we should be on our way. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of silicon adhesive around the edges of this to double the seal when I uh, combine it with that. And here is the finished product. I'm not don't love this latch, but uh, it works. There we go. Now we got to see if it works or not with the TV. <laughs> so the finished product, satellite comes in, goes up, up, across, through the wall. Out right there and then we have access and you can see the satellite out there all that work just to watch TV like we could at our house <laughs> <laughs> number two this is one that I haven't seen people cover we as youtubers we follow a lot of other youtubers and we've seen all the upgrade videos but I've never seen anybody do what we did here <clears throat> the the wood underneath the bed always seems to protrude a little bit. If the bed shifts a hair or if you're leaning up against it to try to make it, uh, the bed can contracts and you're left with this really nasty piece of sharp plywood all along the edges of the bed. And we kept cutting ourselves, honestly, scratching ourselves. It was a real inconvenience. So we went to, I think, Joanne's Fabric, somewhere like that, and we got a faux leather that was gray, that and our trusty staple gun, and it's been 
life-changing. <laughs> I'm not scared to jump in or out of the bed anymore, especially with our high mattress. It's hard to get in and out. Um, it's definitely something you should consider doing. Number three, we rip the end tables out next to the bed. Most RVs have them. Most people don't use them. <laughs> In our case, they didn't serve any function at all, um, except to maybe keep the bed in place, which we have a king size bed. There's not, not many places for it to go anyway. <clears throat> In some of the Voyage models like ours, I've been told that the top lifts off for storage. Ours did not do that, 100% for sure. So we just ripped them out and we pla replaced them with these really handy bins that we got from the container store. They're eight inches wide and I think 20 inches long and you can stack them as high as you want. In our case, two was as, as many as we could fit. But it's great for little things like socks and underwear. It'd be easy if the bed wasn't here. The bed it makes this absolutely horrible. Why did we have to update our bed? <laughs> the last one was the worst bed on... It wasn't a bed. But now I'll be able to slide this all the way over. Yeah. So that's good. So like I said before, the only thing holding the top on is glue and staples. Or not even glue. It's caught to the wall and stapled to the wood below. So you just got to pry it up. I wish they had taken the effort to make sure that the trim above the bathroom was so well installed. <laughs> because that fell off no problem. They install all this stuff at weird angles, so when you go to take it out, if you go in on it straight, it strips the screw. So you have to find whatever angle they put the screw in to begin with. Number four, we changed our bathroom faucet. It's so much better, so easy to do. Uh, I recommend everybody look into it. Okay, it's another beautiful day in the RV and we're talking about bathroom faucets. These things that come with the RV tend to be really cheap. It's flimsy, plastic, and in our case, it's so close to the edge of the, the bowl and the bowl itself is already so small. It's difficult to do anything. 
So we're getting a bigger one, one that has a higher um, faucet. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. I got a GoPro running underneath so you can see the exacts, but there's no tools involved. It's all hand tightened. And it's fairly simple as long as you remember to do things like one, turn your water off. In my case, all I did was switch from city to tank. I have a switch in my wet bay, so I didn't have to disconnect everything. Um, there's probably still some water in the lines, which I'm sure if I pulled our drain plug outside, that would drain out, but I'm not really that worried about it. I don't want to go through all that process at this point, so <laughs> it might get a little wet in there, but I'm okay with it. Uh, and here we go. I'll, I'll send this underneath so you see what I'm talking about, and then we'll go from there. So that's it. Those two hot and cold water tighten on individually. And then there's little wing nuts that tighten above them to keep the sink in place. No screws, nothing. Not too bad. <coughs> so here we go. There we go, that easy, it's out. I can tell also from looking at the countertop that it's just uh, <clears throat> like particle board. So if you wanted to do some kind of different sink or add some kind of filtered water, this is the same counter that's in the uh, kitchen. And I'm sure it'd be pretty easy to drill through. Here we go. Hey, it works. It's a nice stream too. There we go. Now we have all this room. And the head turns, real nice. Number five, we changed our shower head. This is actually our third shower head, and this one is amazing. So much more powerful than the first two. Definitely something you should do as soon as you buy your RV. This campground has a little weaker water than we would like. We're also using an inline filter that may be getting old, so maybe it's cutting back on the pressure a bit. But Kaylee hates it. She's got big, thick, long hair, so she wants something more powerful, and she saw that Oxygenics came out with a new one, the Oxygenics Fury. So I'm going to replace it. Um, we'll see if it helps. I'm going to be happy either way, I'm sure, and hopefully she will too. All right, we're going to do something a little different. I'm wearing the GoPro chest mount. Awkward, I know. It's the only way I can figure out how to show you guys from inside the shower though. So for any of you who've never done this before, it's pretty simple. You unscrew from here. And that's it. You can change your old shower head. It's all done. Throw that down on the floor. Now we got the new one. the shower head and see if this fits. Yeah, it's good enough for now.
this guy needs to wear out for sure. And then, I don't know about changing this mount out yet. It was pre-installed, it works. So, this one has screws for it. We'll see about that. Test. Five different settings. I think that's probably the winner. It's pretty powerful. I forgot to shoot a comparison. So here's the old one. So it was nice. Definitely spread the stream among more options. I mean, you can see the, the drop in that. And those are the only two settings, that and off. So there's a definite difference there. There's like a lack of drop in it for sure. That's really the only thing worth looking at. That's got more power, I'd say. So yeah. I'll wait for the boss to come home to decide if we need to replace the, the holder. So the boss has spoken and she decided she did want me to change the holder out for the head of the shower. Uh, it does seem pretty cool. It like swivels and everything. The, the last shower head, it just sprayed her right in the face the whole time. <laughs> so I'll show you what it looks like. She actually just took a shower in it. But yeah, it's, it's like on a ball joint. So you can move it anywhere. It's pretty nice. Two screws. I did have to cut a new, well, drill a new hole for the screw. But... At this point, we drill holes in this thing all the time. It's not even scary anymore. <laughs> all right, update over. Well, that's our five upgrades and mods. Uh, we hope you liked it. Now that we've shown you the little things we've done, we're getting ready to do a RV tour. I know a year later we didn't do any, any RV tours, but we didn't change much from the original floor plan until we went full time. So... Uh, we made all the changes we're going to do a tour video and you're also going to see the videos of us getting ready it should be one video of us packing into the rv so you can see the process we went through before we head to wyoming thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next week